Tis the week before New Year's, and all through the garage, Nick is busily working on cool customer rides. No, that's not factory from General Motors. Nick didn't build this Camaro, but its owner brought it here and asked Nick to track down a noise for him. Well, I'm gonna look for a rattle noise in the back of the uh, differential on this car. I'm not sure exactly what. He wants me to look for it, fix it, but uh, I'm having a hard time finding it. Apparently, this car has 800 horsepower. Don't know, I didn't build this one, but you know what? Too bad it wasn't dry outside. I'd be driving around the block and dry it out. It's hard to hear anything over all those horses. Time for another kind of muscle. Here it is, you hear it, Nick. It's on the other side, there. Yeah. Where's it coming from? With a couple of friends pushing the Camaro back and forth, Nick moves around the car, trying to pinpoint where the noise is coming from. That should be visual. If right. not, it's internal. Somewhere, somewhere in the middle. That's in the front. Right here. Right here. Right here. Yeah, I hear it. It's right here on both sides. I'm going under. I'm going under. Nick hopes that if he can get close enough, he'll be able to see what's rubbing. So he gets down on a creeper and jams his head under the car. Okay, go. Okay, it's in the middle. It's in the middle. Too bad this creeper makes a lot of noise, but it's in front of the difference in the middle. But I, I looked at the drive shaft. Is there anything touching? I didn't see anything. You know what? I'm gonna pick it up. Take a look now. I have an I have an idea where the noise is coming from now. Pretty good. Oh, let's put it on the lift as soon as we get one free. The Camaro will have to wait for Nick to free up one of his lifts. Right now, he's test fitting some critical drivetrain parts together for the 66 satellite convertible project. Regular viewers will remember last summer when Nick rebuilt and tested the 1966 426 Hemi that Joe wants to put into his gold satellite. The engine had been over-modified in the past, but Nick managed to get some pretty respectable numbers out of the old beast. Then, a couple of weeks back, Joe brought the satellite back to the shop.
Since the last time Nick saw the satellite, Joe made a couple of changes under the hood. He would pulled out the old 318 and dressed up the engine bay so that Nick could drop in the elephant. We drop it in. The rest is up to you, Nick. So we put that little pipe there with the Hemi or are we going to do exhaust? <laughs> That's going to be fun, eh? It'll still work. <laughs> it doesn't take Nick long to drop the big Chrysler block into its new home. But there are still plenty of details left to deal with. And now, the day before the shop's Christmas party, Nick wants to get Joe's transmission made it up to the Hemi. I have my client Joe who brought in this uh, satellite, converted it to a 426 Hemi from a 318. So then we had to go to a big block transmission. So he brought in the transmission, rebuilt, and of course he brought me this torque converter. But as you guys can see here, this is a 12 inch torque converter, which is from a common big block Chrysler, which comes with a big flex plate, as you see here, right? Now, we have a problem. On a Hemi, we cannot put this on because the Hemi's only come with a flex plate with eight bolt flange, like you see here. So when you overlap it, as you can see, there's a difference. So what we do in this case is we look for a simple uh, torque converter. Instead of buying a real Hemi torque converter like for a top dollar, we take our high stall speed, for example, like from a 340, a 22, 2400 stall speed, 11 inch, right here. My red challenger, when I used to race with it, I used to have a 3 4 torque converter in there. I did the same conversion and it worked well. The only difference is on a 3 4 torque converter, the four bolts that hold the flex plate to it are 5 16 And of course, all Hemis come with 7 16 bolts of the torque converter. We have them drilled out to 7 16 put on the uh, flex plate with the 8 bolt flange, install on the Hemi, job is done. It's Nick's know-how that gets the job done for his clients, and in this case, saves them time and money by using a 340-383 torque converter and not having to hunt for an original Hemi part. And because he's done the same job on his own cars, he can be confident that his work is going to hold together for his customers. Like most parties this time of year, there's plenty of good food and good friends to be found. But at Nick's garage, the decorations include several customer engines, all well on their way to being rebuilt in time for the return of the warm weather. On the day of the shop party, Nick and Joe share a New Year's toast over the freshly installed Hemi, while Vasily and some of the younger guys head outside for a little holiday drifting, Montreal style. 